in the kitchen with Chef Trisha, and uh, you're going to show us how to make a really cool holiday treat, right? Correct. Hey, did you know that she was on the Olympic team for the culinary Olympic team for the U.S., right? Yes. And you got to go to Luxembourg? Right, as a coach two weeks ago. <laughs> Who's been to Luxembourg? And you've been twice? Twice. Wow. Hey, you know, on Facebook right now, we have on our fan page, we ask you to share your experiences mm -hmm. waiting for Santa. Hours upon hours. Would you wait two, three hours for Santa? Absolutely. You would? All night. All night. Especially, you know, <laughs> if you're going to give him this at the end of those two or three hours. Good day, Detroit. The Nine starts right now. Seven pounds of icing, 15 pounds of marshmallows, and 20 boxes of Rice Krispies are just the beginning of the festive display that includes a six-foot red chocolate sleigh. The pastry team from the Motor City Casino stopped by the Fox 2 Kitchen to teach us how to make some special treats just in time for the holidays today on the Nine. Uh, we almost had to do rock, paper, scissors for the uh, the, the uh, chef today. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It was going to get ugly. <laughs> but somehow I, I won. I, I um, talked to our producer into letting So you're going to be over there. But you guys will be over enjoying the fruits of her labor. Absolutely. Yes. And they brought pizza, which I'm very excited about. Ooh. It's like a full buffet. Over there. <laughs> it's a guy's dream come true. Uh -huh. All right. Well, we've got a real treat happening in the Fox 2 cooking school. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, we have a little taste of the Motor City... Casino Hotel. They go all out for the holidays. They do a, a fabulous Thanksgiving Day brunch. And now we're talking Christmas treats, sweet things. So we're going to show you how to do this at home. All right, we want to show you a fantastical holiday display at the Motor City Casino Hotel. Here's just a little uh, glimpse of it. And it's something to see. It was designed and created by Chef Trish Nash. So what, what there, Trish, is edible that we're looking at? Um, well, right now, the reindeer are all sprayed in, they're a plastic base, but they're all sprayed in milk, white, and dark chocolate. Oh. And all their decorations are icing and sugar. Um, everything in the sled is edible. It's all made uh, with a Rice Krispie Treat base and then wrapped in icing or chocolate. Um, and the whole sled is sprayed with red chocolate and gold and white chocolate. Good job. Yeah, Nicely well, my staff done. Did it, so. All right, all right. But in, in, will it ever get eaten, or it's just for no, show? No, no, just for show. Okay, all right, all right. So you are here. Welcome. Thank you. To the Fox Two thank Cooking you. School. You're going to show us how to, we can make something fun. Something simple. Yeah. Yes. At thank home. you. Thank you. Something <laughs> simple. All right. Yeah. So go ahead. We're starting with uh, peppermint candies. Um, what I want to do is, well, you can buy a lot of stuff at the craft store or at the drugstore, um, and just make make some uh, holiday things with them. So I just took some um, Starlight mints. Yeah. Opened them up. And put them in a, um, a ring mold, sprayed it with some, some Pam spray. Okay. On a silicone mat, you can get at any store in a sheet pan. Um, laid them out, baked them in an oven at 325, and they come into a flat tray. Look at that. So I have looks one. Looks like a, a, okay, and this is all part of it. That's chocolate, correct. Oh, this is chocolate around the base. Okay, all right, so continue. So um, this is one that I did previously and unmolded it. So here's some white chocolate that I just melted in the microwave. Yeah. And just to get the base that I have there, all I did was pour the chocolate in a puddle. How do you get it to melt so smoothly and nicely? Um, you just continue a lot of stirring. stirring, yeah. Okay. And white chocolate burns quicker than uh, dark chocolate, so you have to be mm. careful. So then I just dropped it in it, and it puddles out. All right. And then I sprinkled some broken pieces on the edges, and then after it sets, you just take an X-Acto knife and cut a whimsical design and it's your platter. All right, so there's your whimsical design. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so with the same white That's chocolate, whimsical. I wanted to show you how to do um, something really simple. You're and the snowman. How to make the snowman now. He's really simple. Um, I just got these plastic ornament shells at the craft store. Yeah. So you put them in a, a base of either rice or sugar so it stabilizes it so it's flat. And you just fill it with chocolate and let it set. And you fill the three different sh um, sizes, small, medium, and large. Let them set. They unmold really easily out of the plastic. Okay, so you got two halves. So I have two halves for the top. All right. Then all you do is just glue them with some chocolate. What do you think of all this stuff, Trish? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> playing around, I guess. All right. Show pieces are a lot easier than people think they are. So then you let this set. Okay. And I would take chocolate and fill it back in. And then with my X-Acto. This is like a construction project. Uh, you can just clean it up and your scraps can go back into your... Uh, bowl so they're not wasted. 
Then after that, you can just wash it down with a damp towel and you make the three different sizes. I melted the bottoms on all of them, glued them together with chocolate because chocolate adheres to chocolate best, so that's your glue. That's um, nice. The buttons are just little, um, little chocolate, chips. chocolate chips. The nose is just a little white chocolate that I painted orange chocolate. The hat's chocolate that I poured in a, um, a glass and unmolded and just wrapped it with a little icing. There you go. No problem. <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy, easy. What about our candy cane tree here? Is this um, all just yeah, stuck together? Yeah, it's just simple. It's just a, a large candy cane base as the trunk. Is, can, can I and turn it? Sure. I don't want to break it. So you it. can see how it's put together. Okay, so and this I, is a big candy cane here. There, okay. Yeah. And it's submerged in some chocolate just as, uh, to give it some stability. Maybe and everything's glued on with white chocolate. So you just yeah. unwrap the candy canes and glue them on. And then the... Um, the balls themselves are just dum-dum tops where you, I broke the stick off and just glued it on with white chocolate right. and dusted it. All right. You've won some awards, right? Yes, in the past, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. This Thank is fun you. stuff. And we appreciate, um, we have a whole little, uh, you created a whole little buffet for the us spreads. over there. Chef Steve did from your show Chef Steve, I know he's not <laughs> lit over there. Can you give him a wave? Can you see all that food they brought? So thank you. Thanks, Chef Steve. All right, no good problem. stuff, Trish. Happy holidays. Thank you. you what too. are you guys doing? What do you do special at the Motor City Casino? We have special menus running in some of the venues. I know in Iridescence, we're doing a, um, a family style meal with prime rib and desserts. So they. It, it, and you can bring kids to absolutely. the uh, casino, casino to eat. Absolutely. At every venue, there's access off the casino floor. So um, and they can go anywhere they want. Yeah, so it's, it's surprisingly kid friendly, really. All right, thank you. Thanks. Good stuff. Jason?